uh, Crosby Place in England. And on your right is the Regenstein Library. And this was done by Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, made of steel and concrete on your right. And the uh, facade of the building is um, uh, considered to look like book spines. And the new addition, which is being put on, looks like a great big glass bubble. Um, this is by Helmut Yon. And most of the library is going to be underground. <coughs> now, originally, what was here on that corner <coughs> where you see the glass, <coughs> glass bubble, it was called Stag Field. It was a field house. And during World War II, underneath that field house, Enrico Fermi and many, many other famous scientists achieved the first controlled, self-contained. We have five boulevards here in Chicago on the south side. Uh, originally, uh, very well-to-do people built their mansions along one of these five boulevards. And so some of Chicago's very well-to-do people uh, lived along here. They were white, they were Anglo-Saxon, and they were Protestants, being uh, rather expensive. We're coming on to another boulevard. It was originally called...
Uh, Bertha Palmer was the social leader of Chicago, and they had a new castle up here. Uh, that was the place to be. And so the very well-to-do uh, followed them, and it is considered to be the beginning of the migration to the north side. Um, most of those mansions have been torn down. There are four of them left. And today, compared to the huge high-rises, they look rather sweet, but actually they're really quite grand. Uh, the buildings today um, are now used as ambassadors, residences, and so on. But the nose of the bus is right there on your left. There are four of them right in a row, and those four are left of that era. Uh, Connor Palmer and Bertha's house uh, has long since been torn down, but I'm passing that around. It was truly a castle. It was extremely elegant indeed. Four is Europe. Uh, then it was replaced by um, uh, high rises and by very grand hotels. Uh, this is a part of the city that is called Streeterville, and it's named after Cap Streeter. Cap Streeter was kind of an old reprobate, and he had a boat. He and his wife lived out on a boat. Well, it ran aground one day on the sand bar, and he proclaimed the land, and it is considered to be Queen Anne in its architectural style. Now, here we are back in the Astor Street District, very narrow streets again, like Hyde Park. Uh, the buildings, some of them have common walls. Some of the lots are only 25 feet wide. And some of the richest Chicagoans live in this area. Um, the Albert Medlager House is on your right. It goes back to 1902 by Hugh Gordon. Roman brick, and a curry style. There are little Victorians in here. Really very popular Georgians. Very lovely colors. Again, Marshall and Fox. Very popular architects with uh, wealth as uh, And that goes back to 1920. 1920. And it kind of anchors the magnificent mile. The slope of the magnificent mile was started by Mary Rublock. And his building is right here on the right. And he started that slope as a